power shortage in China, production grinds to a halt and traffic lights even fail after rationing of energy. Power shortages across China plunged the country into a state of chaos, industries grinding to a halt, failing traffic lights standing motorists stranding motorists in their cars. This is not only shortages in Europe that we have, but also and the high prices going on, but also in China. At least half of the 31 provincial jurisdictions in mainland China reported a shortfall in power supplies in the past month. The crisis affected major industry hubs like the coastal province of Guangdong. It also took a toll on the homes and businesses. Experts attributed the shortfall to China's tightening grip on greenhouse emissions, the rising cost of coal, and poorly managed electricity rationing across the provincial lines. Now we know that China is the world's uh, largest polluting country. Over 52% of the pollution is from China, from 53 cities. I think a couple of days ago I made a video on that. Now China still relies on coal power for most of its electricity demands and remains the, big, the world's biggest producer of carbon dioxide emissions the leading cause of global warming and climate. It's over 50% that China is producing of the total world CO2 pollution. Now, China's power shortage has put a strain on the entire power grids, casting shadows of uncertainty over China's economic forecasts. According to Liu Ting, chief economist at Nomura, the situation was particularly dire last weekend. This is what he wrote on Monday, with market attention now laser-focused on Evergrade and Beijing, unprecedented curbs on the property sector, another major supply-side shock may have been underestimated or even missed, he said. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. In the aftermath of this crisis, the economists at Nomura slashed the growth for China of 8.2% uh, down to 7.7%, which is still pretty high. But the experts warned the impact on China's economy may yet prove worse. Liu added, we see more downside risk to our forecasts. The power crunch in China led the country to halt production at a number of key factories, including sites supplying giant tech giants like Apple and Tesla. Eson Precision Engineering, which is a company that produces components for Tesla's electric cars, temporarily suspended production of its facilities in Kunshan, Jiangsu province. The company said the company will leverage its inventory to maintain the operation while production is halted. We expect to arrange production on the weekends or in the upcoming holidays next month to meet customers' needs, they said. Medieval scenes unfolded in the country's northeast provinces where business owners were forced to operate by candlelight. Can you imagine candlelight? That's how bad it is. Since last week, power rationing has been introduced to address the coal shortage in China. And according to local media, the blackouts have been arriving sooner and lasting longer than expected. So I guess we'll hear more on this soon. This is by Sebastian Kettle Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.